I'm Tyrese Maxey, and this is my top five with Slam. Okay, number one, the OG Avengers. That's number one. I think OG Avengers number one because it's the original first time that we see all like the main Marvel characters you know, on screen at one time as far as like Iron Man, um, Captain America, Thor. Um, that was just really cool. The Hulk was there, um, the OG Hulk. And it was just like, I don't know, it was just really cool to see all those you know, superheroes coming together and, and fighting against Loki. And it was, it was amazing. They saved New York and it was that's really cool. Number two, Avengers Infinity War. Number three, Black Panther. Number four, Spider-Man mm, Far From Home. Then number five, I'm gonna go with the first Iron Man. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. I'm taking my five versus anybody's five. Oh, cheat date meals. Cheat day, like you cheat. Cheat day. Okay, all right, all right. I'm about to say, dang. Okay, okay, here we go. Number one, I'm gonna say spicy lemon pepper wings. That's number one. Yeah, I can I can eat those every single day if I if it was possible. Um, number two, say pizza. I like pizza. I like ordering pizza. That's that's a good one. Number three, I'm gonna say Chick Fil A. Ooh, so. My Chick-fil-A order consists of, I like to do the spicy chicken sandwich, no pickles, add American cheese, get honey mustard, put that on there. I also like, I get some nuggets sometimes, I get some nuggets, and then if it's like breakfast just ended and I can't get any chicken minis, then I'll order like a number one, I'll take the pickles off, and then I'll put honey on the sandwich. So it kind of tastes like a chicken mini because the bread is kind of sweet, so I, I, that's my Chick-fil-A order. Hmm, number four, I'm gonna say French fries from anywhere. I love French fries from anywhere. McDonald's, um, Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, doesn't matter where I'm getting them from. And then number five, I don't like I don't like a lot of sweets and desserts, but I do like chocolate chip cookies. So if I'm if I'm feeling have the sweet tooth in me, then I'm gonna I'm order me some chocolate chip cookies. Ch chocolate chip cookies from somewhere. And uh, I think that's my top five. Okay, I had to change the order this time. Um, I have to put Whataburger in there for number three. I'm gonna move Chick-fil-A down to four. Then I'm gonna put my fries at five and I'm gonna take off the chocolate chip cookies. Desert Island. Number, number five, I'm gonna say my PlayStation. I need that. And you know, I'm gonna say my PlayStation and hopefully there's a TV there. But I'm gonna say my PlayStation because I can, I can play the game with that. I can watch all type of TV shows on that. I can do YouTube. I can do all different, you know, all those platforms I need to do on that. Number four, I'm gonna say my cell phone. That's 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 a, that's that's something that you that's like you have to have that to communicate or do anything in this world. Honestly, I think the main app on my my phone is uh, FaceTime. Does that count? It's FaceTime, I, I FaceTime everybody. Like whoever I want to communicate to, I'm FaceTime. And I don't believe in voice call. It's 2024 now, we're not voice calling. If you don't have an iPhone, then, then we just can't talk. On a team, I don't know. It's a, a tie between Joel and, and DeAnthony. Um, if I FaceTime Joel, he's always going to be uh, actor, acting like he's really sleepy or laughing or playing. But Mel is funny to FaceTime because we always just talking, laughing, talking about playing the game, talking about just live, talking about our dogs. So I think those two are probably the, the top FaceTime calls. There's always that one person that one time call never picked up. Oh, uh, Pat Bev. He, he, he'll text me and tell me to get on the game. Then I get on the game, call him, and then he don't respond. How that work? He's just he's probably somewhere doing that podcast. Oh, you you call me game? Oh, man, I missed it. I'm sorry. You know me, man, doing pod, podcast. Love, love, love. Uh, number three, my dog is a pet. Can I put him on there? Sure. That goes on there. My dog has to come then. My dog, you say no family, so my dog has to come. What's your dog's name? Apollo. Kane Corso. I love my dog. I call my dog my son. So, you know, he, he's definitely gonna be on that deserted island with me. Uh, we're gonna find our food together. We're gonna find whatever we need. Uh, and I know for a fact he's gonna protect me from anything. Uh, so that's, 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 he's somebody that has to come. He will, he will be there for sure.
Percy Jackson is it's, it's a series of books. Um, there's five books, and it's the uh, Lightning Thief, I think, is the first one. Tia Monsters, uh, Titan's Curse. Can't remember the other one, other names of the books, but I'll bring those because I'll be entertained, and I really like those books, and I like the the TV series that just came out on Disney Plus. So shout out to them. And then the last but not least, I'm bringing a copy of the copy of the Temptations. Hopefully, hopefully I have a you know I have my PlayStation, I have a TV that I can plug it into and watch. So there we go. I think because it's a movie, the Temptations is a movie that I have watched since I was a little kid. Honestly. Uh, my grandfather grew up and he used to watch it almost every day, so I was watching it every day. So I know basically the movie, the lines, the lyrics, everything, the steps to the dance moves, uh, like word from word, move from move, you know what I mean? So it's like, I have to put that in there. Uh, that's just great mu music, great tunes, great vibes. I'm Tyrese Maxey and these are my top five items to bring to a deserted island.